Last time I checked, we're all still drowning in calls and meetings, and it's so easy to forget what was said, by who, and what's going to happen next. So I've spent the last few weeks testing a bunch of ways to fix it, including this little gadget, the Plaud Note, to see if you should pay for hardware and a subscription, or just use what you already own. Rewind a year or so ago, and the Plaud Note was the latest go-to gadget for capturing calls and meetings, but this game is moving fast. My iPhone now records and summarizes calls natively, whilst Microsoft and Zoom have AI summaries baked in, and there are other players like Otter automating it all in the background. So I wanted to see if this little physical device still has a place in a world where software does most of the heavy lifting, especially when some of the alternatives are included with software or devices you might already have. In this video, I'm gonna run down all the competition and see if Plaud is still something that I'd recommend because I do get it. Not everyone can justify a $160 device plus a monthly subscription to hear all your calls, meetings, and thoughts sent back to you as beautifully summarized notes. Oh, and this isn't sponsored by Plaud, by the way. I'm gonna tell you about this video sponsor in just a bit. Let's start with a brief recap on how the Plaud note works. So you press this button to record, you press it to stop, you sync it to your app, that generates a trans script, you can then choose a summary style and export it to your favorite note keeping app or just keep it in Plaud and search using their AI later on. The battery lasts ages, it doesn't murder your phone, it's great in busy rooms, lectures and especially when phones are banned or maybe frowned upon. And yeah, it does have a subscription which is optional. You get 300 transcription minutes thrown in every month when you buy the device. And of course most of us hate subscriptions but guess what, AI processing is not free to run. Now, whether it's worth it depends on what you want to remember and how much time it's going to save you each week. Now, before I get into our first comparison, what I really wanted to do in this video was take, say, five different meetings or interactions and run them through all the different products we're going to test today for a super objective test. And that sounds like it should be easy, but it is in fact pretty impossible due to the way some of these services work. So what we'll do instead is have a few rounds of testing where I pit Plaud against its top competitors and see who comes out on top for each round. Let's go. First of all, let's take a look at the obvious competition, which was an update in the latest iOS, and that lets you record calls right on your iPhone. Now, if you're in a call and you hit the record button, this sends the caller an audible note to say that the call is being recorded. And then to stop recording, you can just tap that button or hang up. Your iPhone then automatically saves call recordings to a special call recording folder over in your notes app. Now this new feature does offer a transcription service though it's not usually available straight away. You can see that transcription by clicking the little speech bubble icon which lets you skip to the audio in the track. You can search through the transcript and also get a summary of the call if you've got Apple intelligence switched on. Now there isn't a choice of the format of the summary that you get but based on my testing it's relatively accurate. Sometimes it can get some words wrong especially industry jargon or maybe listening to someone with a more heavy accent. So that's the call recording feature but you can use pretty much the same workflow for in-person meetings if you just put your phone on the table and hit record in the voice memos app. Android users, I've not forgotten about you, if you're on a Samsung S series or Google's latest Pixel devices you get this type of thing included on your phones too. So compared to Plaud, there's already one clear advantage. It's already on your phone without you needing to pay anything extra on top of the cost of your device. And it does work. In the case of Apple's recording, it's also private and on your device by default. So it's really simple and secure. But in terms of downsides, well, there are quite a few. Firstly, using this feature, certainly on iPhone, absolutely hammers your phone's battery. As an example, I recorded a 60 minute call the other day on my phone and it dropped my battery by 25% on a single call. The Plaud Note, on the other hand, lets you record around 30 hours straight so you can keep your phone battery for when you need it. Secondly, the transcription on iOS isn't the best and it only really works on one-to-one -one conversations. There's no obvious way of separating speakers out on things like conference calls and there's only one kind of summary which doesn't really understand any context that you're working in. Plaud Note, on the other hand, covers multiple speakers with ease and it gives you literally hundreds of summary formats to choose from or or you can even make your own. Plus, you can program in your own industry terms so it always understands the context or any regular abbreviations that you use. That is not, however, an excuse to keep saying circle back. Finally, if you want to use this feature on your phone, if you didn't record the audio using your phone, yeah, 
that's it. You can't import other audio into Apple Notes or voice memos to transcribe or summarize. But yeah, you guessed it, with Plaud, you absolutely can. So it can kind of work in reverse. If you recorded a note in your phone app, but you didn't have your Plaud note with you, you can still import the audio into Plaud and it'll do its thing. So round one, it's an easy one. This one goes to Plaud. Before we go on, have you ever just wished you could click your fingers and be in your favorite coffee shop or on a beach streaming your own favorite show? Well, Surfshark is basically the digital version of that. It lets you teleport your favorite devices to a choice of 140 locations with just one click. If you wanna unlock US Netflix, it's easy. If you want cheaper flight deals by pretending you're in Argentina, yeah, no problem. And then here's the part I love. Unlike other VPNs that make you pay more to cover extra devices, Surfshark gives you unlimited connections on all the devices in your home. One account protects all your stuff and no extra fuss. And they've just added some brand new features that help you check emails for scams and phishing, plus a web content blocker to help keep your family secure from inappropriate content and malicious sites. Oh, and of course it keeps all your browsing private and your data safe, even on dodgy public Wi-Fi. I've teamed up with Surfshark to get you four extra months free, plus a 30 day money back guarantee. Click the link below or scan the code on screen to get started. And a big thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Next, I wanted to show you a free alternative to Plaud, which a lot of people don't know about. Now, if you have Microsoft Word on your machine, it actually has a feature to transcribe any audio file. It's really basic, but yeah, it's free, you know, if you or your employer already pay for Microsoft Word. And that's about the only benefit here, because in order to use this, you will need access to Microsoft Word, which requires a subscription these days, and they've actually just put the price up. And also Microsoft Word is famous for doing stuff like this. Now you can also get a summary here as well as a transcription, but you'll need to use Microsoft's AI to generate it. And in my testing, it was very hit and miss in terms of accuracy. Unpopular opinion, but I think we should probably just bring back Clippy. Plaud on the other hand will work in a nice clean web app or your phone app, and it'll separate out speakers and do you a bunch of different summaries depending on what you're transcribing, which Word unfortunately just cannot compete with. Round two goes to Plaud again. Next up, we've got a real contender and that's Otter AI. This is one of the OGs of the AI recording game and was probably one of the first auto transcription tools I ever tried. And that experience really shows. Otter is an app that automatically joins your meetings in Zoom, Google and Teams, and then gives you an AI summary in real time with searchable notes. It even has built-in agents for different use cases like sales, recruitment, education, and media. It also has some AI built-in so that you can ask it questions from any past conversation or meeting that you've had. Now, in terms of Otter's advantages over Plaud, well, there is a free plan that gives you 300 minutes of transcription every month, or you can pay a monthly fee for 1,200 transcription minutes, unlimited storage, and the ability to import your own audios and video files into Otter. I'd say the auto transcription is genuinely excellent and it has some of the best search and keywording I've seen so far. It also lets you join concurrent meetings if you ever need to be in two places at once. Plus, while it is possible to use Plaud in virtual meetings, either by putting your device next to the speaker or using the Windows desktop app. It's not easy if you're mainly using headphones or using a Mac, as the Plaud desktop app isn't available for Mac users. Although I am told it's on the way. Are there any ways that Plaud beats Otter? Well, in my view, Plaud is certainly more optimized for in-person audio, such as meetings and lectures, conferences, that kind of thing. If you're a busy professional who conducts lots of in-person meetings, Plaud's probably going to work better for you. Now it's worth saying you can use Otter for in-person meetings too, but it's a much more complicated workflow involving an app. There's also the challenges in terms of different languages and accents. Plaud supports over 200 different languages, which might be really important if you work in a multilingual team. And again, in my experience, Plaud generally does a pretty good job of tracking accents, even from here across the UK, where regional differences in accent can vary a lot. So yeah, I'd say this round is more of a draw. I think, and whichever wins out for you will kind of depend on what kind of meetings you tend to have. I think Otter is still superb for virtual meetings, but if you work in a hybrid way in conferences, cafes, and in-person conversations on the go, that press and forget workflow from Plaud is probably gonna be much easier. Okay, so we're on to our final round, and I wanted to group together the built-in note takers from Zoom, Google Meet, and the complete horror show that is Microsoft Teams. Now, in terms of pros with these ones, well, there's no extra app. You just fire it up when the meeting starts and forget about it. 
You also get things like auto notes for the whole team joining the call, which can definitely save time in terms of follow-up. And also from a data privacy perspective, I think this is likely to suit your compliance setups if you're already using them within an organization as it'll probably have been set up that way when your IT department configured it all. Now in terms of downsides, well, quality definitely varies here. Summaries can be a bit vague at best or at worst, completely inaccurate. They're also platform locked, so they will work inside a Google Meet session or Zoom or Teams call, but pretty useless if you're also taking phone calls, WhatsApp calls or in-person sessions. And if like me, you're a solo business, there are often hidden paid tiers here for things like storage and they can really add up over time. So yeah, I think these options can be really great if you spend all day in one of these app ecosystems. Otherwise, I think Plaud or Otter is just more flexible all round. Yeah, so round four goes to Plaud. So after testing out a number of alternatives, all things considered, I think there is still a case to be made for having a physical recording device that records and summarizes your meetings and calls. I've got a couple of other things that I need to tell you about though. First of all, a point on accessibility and inclusion. I think for folk with memory issues, visual impairments, ADHD or multilingual workspaces, accurate recordings and action item summaries are not a luxury, they represent independence. And this is where reliable capture and clear intelligent summaries matter way more than just saving a fiver every month on another subscription. Secondly, a note on data security and privacy. I think if you're recording any kind of conversation, whether it's a deeply personal one or an everyday business meeting, you should have an eye on where that data is going. I used to run a business involved in collecting personal data, so I know quite a bit about various privacy standards. And I've been really pleased to see Plaud continuing to strengthen its approach here. They just added two ISO certifications to their lineup alongside GDPR, SOC 2 and HIPAA. I do know from experience how much work we'll have to go on in the background to get those certifications and yeah, it is a lot. So in conclusion, this is my verdict on everything I've experienced whilst making this video. I think if you live in Zoom or Teams all day, use the built-in apps or maybe something like Otter. I reckon if you're all about sticking to a tight budget or you're a student maybe, use the free workflows that I showed. And if you don't mind some additional time spent in getting everything set up exactly the way you want it across multiple platforms and you're happy to deal with some quirks along the way, they can absolutely be good enough. If you're more of a hybrid meeting attendee, I'm talking phone calls with in-person and random rooms with occasional virtual meetings thrown in, and you want something that you can rely on with the press of a button, I do think that Plaud still earns its place in your setup. If you wanna grab one of these for yourself, there's a link and a discount code in the description, or you can scan this code up here. Meanwhile, if you're interested to know more about how the Plaud Note Pro works differently to the regular Plaud Note, check out my comparison video. It's just over here. See you next time.